Maybe I'm crazy for this, but two years ago, I was unemployed, sleeping in my van on the side of the road, and learning to love cold water diving. When I sold my dive shop in 2020, I lost a lot of money and had to move home, which inspired me to buy a van I could live in. Fast forward about a year and I decided I needed to switch to dry suit diving or else I would give up the sport altogether. I came up with the idea of a YouTube scuba diving van life series called Dive Dry Road Trip. I had heard about the giant Pacific octopuses and kelp forests in the Puget Sound and thought it would be a fun place to explore while learning a new skill. So I got a dry suit and headed north. I had no idea what I was doing. I slept on the side of Highway 1 to keep costs down. I would dive early in the morning to keep my dogs safe from the afternoon heat. And every dive was a humbling experience as I figured out how to handle a dry suit, side mount, and camera equipment. It was a lot, but I was blown away by what I saw. People still don't believe me when I say I love the diving here. <laughs> From six gill sharks to wolf eels, giant lion's mane jellies to grunt sculpins, this place has something for every type of diver. See, these dives aren't even in the app yet. These are such underrated dive sites. Let me add them so other buddies can see them too. Since that trip, I have hit the Puget Sound every summer to reconnect with the wonderful scuba diving community. My story proves that even the most chronically chilled warm water diver can enjoy cold water diving with the right gear and attitude. So don't let the temperature scare you. Grab the gear and jump in.